What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you the Feyenoord vs Manchester United Europa League match preview. So, there's some big team news that has been announced. No Rooney, no Mkhitaryan, no Lingard, no Valencia and no Shaw and no Phil Jones in the 20-man squad that Jose Mourinho has selected to go to Rotterdam. So, what does that mean? Well, Mkhitaryan is injured for 10 days, roughly uh, he aggravated his uh, injury rushing to be fit for the Manchester derby and uh, is unfortunately ineligible for the next three games. Chances are Phil Jones is probably injured, though that isn't confirmed. I haven't seen Jose Mourinho's press conference yet. Uh, Lingard has been dropped probably because of his poor performance against Manchester City, but I don't think he would have made the squad anyway, even if he did play very, very well, purely because I think Jose Mourinho wants to use other options and he would have been, well, rested chances are. Um, Valencia and Shaw definitely have been rested. I'm happy to see that. I didn't want them to start or play any part in this fixture. I want them to be fit for the next game, which is Watford. And um, Wayne Rooney, we'll see what the big um, you know decision is with that, whether he'll get dropped in the Premier League eventually. You know, I think Mourinho will eventually drop him, but I don't know how long that's going to take. But now he's been dropped from the Europa squad. Is that just purely because he's being rested? Or we'll see. He's a phenomenal player. He's been one of our well, one of the greatest players of his time. But everyone's time comes to an end. And <laughs> of all the pundits, Jamie Carragher is the first to say it. But he, he he said, and all the United fans know this. To be honest, deep down, even the ones that back Rooney, that he is no longer the best player in any of the positions he wants to play in. Striker, calm, left wing, right wing. I know why the hell would you want to play Rooney there? But um, centre mid, you know, he's just not the best option anymore. And he's good enough for the bench, but not for the starting lineup. And I think eventually Mourinho will realise that, but he's been dropped for the Europa League. So it's a good chance to see other, you know, formations and other players play without Rooney and see what they can do. So my lineup is slightly different to what I wanted it prior to Rooney not even being available for selection. So, what I want to see is De Gea in net. Of course, being a backup goalkeeper must be, you know, horrific, but there's really no need to drop a goalkeeper because they don't really need to be rested too much. And, uh, you know, just play your better goalkeeper. Like, uh, <laughs> Romero might start, but yeah, th there's just no point in dropping De Gea, in my opinion. Uh, right back, I'd go with Darmian. Two centre backs, I'd go with Foster Mensa and Smalling. Daily Blind and Eric Bai really deserve a rest. Particularly Eric Bai, he was really tired at the end of uh, the Manchester City game, and I don't want to see him burn out. So they definitely should be rested for this game. Uh, Rojo is left back. We don't really have any other options, and uh, surely he can't fuck up too much against Fire. No, no disrespect to them, but. Right, I want to see a 4-3-3. So the three midfielders I want to see are Schneidlin, Herrera, and I want to see Pogba. The reason, you know, you could say Carrick, other players do deserve to play some part of the season, but I want to see what Pogba can do in a three-man midfield. It might only be Feyenoord, so it might not be the greatest test, but it's just, it's just going to be a good opportunity. Now Rooney isn't in the lineup, we can go 4-3-3, and I want to see because that's when Pogba is his best and uh, again it's not the huge test that maybe he needs but it, it would be I don't really think he needs a confidence booster I think he's got enough confidence in himself and belief but I just want to see it I really do and uh, you know I'm one of Fellini's biggest fans this season I think he's been terrific but it, it, it'll be good to give other players a chance but again the reason I'm keeping Pogba in, the, in my lineup again I want to see him in a three-man midfield now the front three there's two different options, but I'll tell you the reason why I'm going with what I am. Rashford is confirmed to start. Mourinho's already said, unless he picks up a last-minute injury, which I hope he doesn't, he's starting. Ibrahimovic and Memphis. They are the forward three I want. And the reason for that, I mean, it's hard not to put Martial in there, but I would ideally want all four of these to start. But I want to see a 4-3-3. So one of these has to miss out. Memphis deserves a chance. He hasn't had any football this season. Martial's played a fair bit. And uh, Memphis is a different monster when it comes to European games. They were the only ones he performed in last season, bar the occasional Premier League game in Europa League, Champions League. He was one of our better performers. Admittedly, we didn't really do much, but still, he was one of the better performers. So I think he will start. And I want to see Ibrahimovic and Rashford given a chance, especially when there's no Rooney. I want to see them both start and see what they can do as a partnership. It's hard not putting Martial in, and if Martial, Rashford... 
and uh, Memphis start and Ibrahimovic is bench, I'd be happy with that. Honestly, I'd be happy with any variation that I've just said of those four players because any three of those four players in this lineup because I, I generally think they all deserve to play. So, yeah. But if I had to pick one, it would be Rashford, Ibrahimovic and Memphis. I want to see the dynamic between Rashford and Ibrahimovic, as I say, and I want to see Pogba in a three-man midfield, which is why I'm keeping Pogba and Ibrahimovic in the lineup. Ibra also was rested for two weeks. He'd retired internationally for Sweden, so he's going to be fit enough to start two games in a week. Um, even though he's 34, you know, he's a fantastic athlete, so I don't think that's a problem. Pogba's very athletic as well, so even though he played for France, he's going to be fit enough in my opinion. But if they don't start, obviously Martial and Carrick will drop into the role that I've just, well, the team that I've just uh, said. So, with Feyenoord, what are their main threats? Well, no disrespect to them, but you have to think we are going to win. And the two I'm going to pinpoint are Dirk Coy, uh, or Cow, however you say, you know, the old Liverpool player, and Ilya, who uh, also played for Southampton, I think, uh, at one point. But I think they are their two main threats. But I'm going to give the most outrageous prediction I have ever done. In three years I've been doing Manchester United videos, I have never predicted anything near the this. I think the highest prediction I've gave is 4 0 once. And I think that was against QPR under Lou Van Hal, which we actually won 4-0. But this time, I'm going to say, especially if Rashford and Ibra star or similar to the lineup I've said, 6-0, really, I'm going to go that confident. We've just lost against Manchester City, of course. That's a little, Well, that is a huge damper. It's, it's not a little damper. It's a huge damper. But I think we'll bounce back and I think we'll want to make a statement. It might only be Europa League, but... You, the old cliche, you can only beat what's put out in front of you. And again, it seems as though I'm underestimating fine order. Maybe I am, but I generally think we can win 6-0. With the, with the quality in our team, it just needs to gel. And with a 4-3-3, and if Pogba, Ibra, you know, the, the lineup that I've said starts, particularly Rashford, I think he's going to flourish in this game. I'm going to predict 6-0. I'm confident. That's something that I, I just like having. Mourinho's instilled confidence and belief back into the fans even though we lost 2-1 against Manchester City but 6-0 is my prediction so let me know what you think hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace